We extend a very warm welcome to all of our virtual participants. Last year, we thought that having this industry meeting electronically would be a one-year occurrence, but here we are holding the industry meeting virtually for a second year. We do hope this forum provides an opportunity for greater participation. A quick review of the registrations confirmed that uh, there are a total of 323 registered for this webinar, including more than 80 international guests representing 25 different countries. We sincerely appreciate the support we receive from our domestic and international participants. It's my privilege to recognize a few people that have volunteered their time for the benefit of the industry. Lee Day joined the CDCB board in April of 2018, representing the Dairy Record Processing Centers. He is Senior Vice President at Amelia Corps in Provo, Utah. Thank you, Lee, for your contributions to CDCB and for your service to the board. Robert Fordrain served on the board representing the Dairy Record Processing Center sector for the previous year. Robert is Assistant Director for Dairy Records Management Systems, known as DRMS. Uh, Robert, we also appreciate your passion for the industry and for your input as a board member. Gordon Doak has completed a three-year term as the U.S. representative to the Interval Steering Committee. Gordon took on this appointment at the time he retired from NAAB back in 2018 after 42 years of dedicated service. We're privileged that he continued to provide his wealth of expertise for these additional years. Gordon was also involved in the original formation of CDCB and served three terms on the CDCB Board of Directors before his retirement. Uh, going forward, Ezekiel Nicolazzi of CDCB has assumed the role of the U.S. Representative for the Inner Bull Steering Committee. So thank you, Gordon. Suzanne Hubbard retired after 41 years of service to dairy genetics at the U.S. Department of Agriculture. In that tenure, Suzanne's professional dedication was extremely helpful in communicating the relevance of the various research projects conducted by dozens of scientists. Her role as a USDA animal scientist included a broad range of responsibilities, from editing manuscripts to distributing scientific current events and other relevant literature, as well as assisting with website design. With these broad skills, a cheerful demeanor, and an attention to detail that colleagues describe as remarkable, Suzanne will be missed by the CDCB and the USDA Agile teams. We wish Suzanne a pleasant retirement and many happy years at her new home in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. Next, I'd like to express my appreciation to Neil Smith from the American Jersey Cattle Association. Neil is the past chair of the CDCB Board of Directors. Neil is a current board member serving his fourth term representing the PDCA sector, and he's also a member of our finance committee. So thanks, Neil, for the leadership you've provided to the CDCB board over the past two years. I would also like to welcome two new directors in 2021. Both represent the Dairy Record Processing Center sector of the board. We welcome Eddie Ormond, who works with Valley Ag Software in Tulare, California. Uh, also new to the board is Mark Rogers of MKVT Pold Holsteins in Glover, Vermont. So all board members for each of the sectors are listed on the left side of the slide. Uh, but what I'd like to do is just recognize the other officers. Uh, they are John Clay, who is the vice chair, Dan Sheldon is the treasurer, and Lindsay Warden serves as secretary. I would be remiss if I didn't remember that Paul Van Raden with USDA Agile serves a very important role uh, in providing technical support to the board of directors. And finally, we have uh, the new 2021 CDCB activity report, as you see on the right-hand side of the slide, is now available at the link. Uh, that's, that's there above the, the photo of the report. This covers the activities of CDCB over the past 12 months 
And as you review the report, I'm sure you'll, you'll gain an appreciation for all the, the work that CDCB does for the industry. Well, the, the last mention I wanted to make was just that we are recording this meeting. Uh, there, are, there will be links to the recordings and presentations in the next CDCB connection. And if you have not been receiving the connection but did register for this webinar, your information, your email contact will be added to the list, so you'll be getting that uh, in the future. And then the final point is just that if you have any questions, use the Q&A function to submit your questions.